talking with Ben Carter from HeartKey, and I'm a little confused. I see a steering wheel. I see some heart action going on here. I'm watching what looks like somebody's heart rhythm here. So tell us, what are you talking about with HeartKey? Yeah, so uh, welcome. I'm uh, Ben Carter from Be Secure, uh, and we're an ECG technology company. Um, biome biometrics, as it's known today, is all around fingerprint technology, iris technology, facial recognition. And what we do differently is we're able to take real-time ECG data identify people uniquely, but at the same time, understand if they're in a stress state or have problems with respiration or maybe even have a, an acute cardiac condition. So what we're seeing here, for example, is one of the number of different use cases we have. So my friend Adrian here, who's uh, clearly a model, um, is actually wearing a module we've developed, which is actually taking this real live ECG feed. So, so wait a minute, we got to see Adrian's uh, ECG monitor here. What, so you've you designed this monitor? Yeah, so what you've got here is just a standard uh, module, cl uh, sorry, connected to a standard chest strap. Okay. Um, and so what we've done here is we've taken this, and in this module we have uh, a, a microcontroller which, which we embed our library uh, technology on, um, and then that's then sat on his chest strap. So what you're seeing here for this particular use case, for example, could be around uniform work or connected workers in the IoT space. The ability to understand who they are, where they are, and how they are. So imagine, for example, someone who's in the fire service or in the military. Um, stress, fatigue are significant challenges for these, these people. And so what we're doing here through this, um, this, uh, this GUI is showing that this is Adrian. This so is real time. This is real time. <laughs> he, Steve just told Adrian to hold his breath. He wants to see his heart rate go up so or you, stress level. You'll see his stress up and, and, and this is real time, exactly. So he's, oh, his stress is going down. I'll start to breathe. <laughs> So he's, he's, he's uniquely identified. This is a live ECG. This is a medical grade ECG heart rate. So heart rate today is primarily understood through devices where you have an optical sensor and it derives a signal. This is a medical grade ECG heart rate. So how many, how many leads is it? Uh, it's two. So if you go into a hospital, you have a 12 lead ECG machine. We take lead one. So you, as long as you have polarity across the chest, you have two points of contact, then you can create, we can pick up this information. So this here now is a stress score. And stress, this is, this is physiological stress. So we determine stress through using heart rate variability. So as you can see in each heartbeat, what we do is we look at the variations from heartbeat to heartbeat, and depending on what element, uh, which part of the heartbeat you look at, you can determine different forms of information. And stress is one of those. Um, down here you can see a stress log as an example. So what we're trying to understand now is the impact of stress and what it means. And what happens generally in today's world is if someone's stressed, it's a reactive thing. So someone goes off work because they're stressed, but it's too late at this point. Our technology is around giving people the ability to, to have early detection and prevention of this kind of thing. So imagine this type of understanding every day, all day, for weeks and months. If someone was sick or was going off stress, you could actually determine this and they actually help them before they get sick. So again, this isn't for like tracking postal workers, probably. It could be well, it could be yeah. actually. They probably have stressful jobs, right? Exactly. But, but it's for people who might be in, in more likely to be in danger of, of these kinds of problems. Yeah. So I think in the early days, we're looking at working with um, in, in areas like military, blue light services, security services. Um, but we're also working with partners where this type of information can be connected to an IoT platform. So imagine a military command center where they have 20, 30, 100 soldiers, and they can monitor their stress levels all the time in real time across an entire population. Maybe stop a bigger problem. Um, this is an example of uh, the additional kind of data you can uh, derive from an ECG signal. Now he's holding up a, uh, a uh, tablet and it's on Joe Blogs. We're no longer torturing Adrian. We're no longer torturing Adrian, but this is a, an example of the, 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 uh, the extent of more than what we can do with an ECG. So our, our, our verification and identification stays here. But we can do things like drowsiness um, within health and wellness, um, arrhythmic conditions in, in genuine healthcare. So, How do you know if he's drowsy? Um, so again, it's just through variations within the heart rate variability. So if I go, if I go back to the signal, um, this is called a PQRST complex. So every, every beat you have um, is a PQRST. And we, whether we take elements within the T or the, P, the QRS or the, or the, uh, the P or the T, it's the T wave, we can, we can establish different forms of ECG data or health. So it could be stress, it could be heart rate variability, it could be stress uh, or energy expenditure, calorie burn, respiration. So our, our, our business is all around developing more and more algorithms that sit within our heart key library. And that's our business model. So we're effectively building IP software, working with hardware partners to integrate it into end devices. Wow, this is really, really fascinating. I had no idea you could get so much out of a heart rate. Very good. So if people want to learn more about HeartKey, where would they go? Uh, they'd go to besecure.com.
Um, BeSecure.com? So, yeah, so it's www.b-secur.com, be secure. Okay, and that's no E on the secure. No, that's okay, no, so you're no, missing no. letters, you got a dash yeah, in there. Yeah, it's a right, really, well, really complicated one. We'll, we'll put it down here in a lower third right below yeah, you right here. Exactly right. All right, thank you very yeah, much, thank guys. You much. And thank Good you much. for letting us make fun of you, Adrian. Uh, I'm used to it. <laughs>